Or send a decisive no to Greece's creditors. The debt crisis is far from over. Katerina Soko joins us from Calgary, Canada. She's a correspondent for a Greek daily newspaper and worked for years covering financial issues in Greek media. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Before the vote, media was reporting the country was divided. What changed and why did so many Greeks ultimately back Prime Minister Tsipras? It seems that uh, the people were persuaded that uh, this would be a vote against austerity and not against the euro itself. Uh, this is something that Prime Minister Tsipras uh, said publicly to the last day. And it's something that the people of Greece uh, seem to have believed, uh, given that the 60 plus percent who voted no to this referendum. Uh, it's obviously a big night for Greece. Uh, it's going to be a new difficult week. Uh, given all the reporting that you did with the banks being closed and all the, all the uncertainties about whether the ECB will keep on uh, supporting the Greek banking system. Katerina, some say the austerity measures in place over the last few years had Greece really on a downward spiral, yet others have criticized the prime minister, saying the economy has worsened since he's been in office. Who do the Greeks really hold responsible for their situation? That's a good question. I think one, one, of the, one of the things that this referendum shows is the lack of trust of Greeks to the old establishment, the old political system. It's quite interesting to see uh, former uh, Greek politicians uh, or of recent, of, uh, of late, like uh, the former prime minister just resigned today as head of the New Democracy Party, Andoni Samaras. And this is creating, obviously, a lot of political uh, developments in Greece. Uh, um, it, it will be interesting to see uh, what will come in the next few days politically as well in Greece, because obviously the Greek prime minister, the current prime minister Tsipras now, has, uh, a, a, has a, a mandate to negotiate and keep Greece in the euro. Uh, you, we've heard the European partners saying that uh, um, this a no vote would be a no to, euro, to the euro itself. So it will, be, it, it will be a big challenge for him to please everyone, uh, keep Greece in the eurozone, and also keep his red lines, uh, what he promised the Greek people that he would do. So I guess uh, your, my answer to your question would be, it depends on what the end game in this uh, situation is. It depends. If it ends with Greece leaving the Eurozone, then uh, I, I, I can reassure you there'll be a lot of blame to, uh, to, to, uh, to, to spread around uh, both right. in, within Greece and uh, outside of Greece as well. Do you think the prime minister essentially called the European Union's bluff? Uh, the election turned out to be a referendum on him in the end uh, because the European Union has already invested so much in Greece at this point, it would be hard for them to walk away. Yes, it will certainly be a big blow for Europe uh, should, uh, and the Eurozone should Greece decide to uh, just uh, default on its loans. The ECB alone has billions and billions of uh, uh, euros invested in Greece and uh, that would be a big blow to the ECB as well. Uh, at the same time, uh, I, I would argue that uh, it will be a big blow for Greece as well. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's, it's funny these days we've been hearing about how the ball is uh, in someone else's court. Uh, it's going so fast. I've, been, uh, I've missed the ball here where it is. It seems that everyone wants to, uh, to push the ball around to someone else. Uh, and same with the responsibility. My... my, my my interest, if you want, as a Greek, is uh, to, to make sure that the ball just doesn't drop with Greece exiting the Eurozone. Katerina Soko, thank you so much for joining us live from Calgary, Canada.